was business as usual in the software development sector of Wayne Enterprises, but little did the employees know that Batman had set up a secret project in their Jira instance for tracking repairs to his Batmobile. Hello, this is Mikey Shot with Service Rocket, and in this video I'll demonstrate the resolution include and the resolution exclude transition properties that allow you to choose which resolutions are displayed for specific workflow transitions. So one of the great things about Jira is that it's a tool built primarily to track issues in software development, but because of the way that Atlassian has made it so customizable, we can set Jira up to track a lot of other business processes as well. So for instance, we can set Jira up as a service desk solution or track documentation changes or human resources processes or perhaps even superhero automotive repair processes. But one of the problems that people run into once they start diversifying their Jira projects is that the set of resolutions in Jira is global. So we may have resolution values that make sense in one project, but not another. So here we have Jira's five standard resolution values that it ships with that make good sense for a software development project, but then Bruce Wayne's tagged two more on to the bottom here to use in his Batmobile project. So if we take an issue in a software development project and we go to resolve that issue, we'll find broken beyond repair and replaced. So two resolution values that don't really make sense here. And if we go to an issue in the Batmobile project and we go to close this issue, then really the only resolution values that make sense here are fixed, won't fix, broken beyond repair, and replaced. And we could really do without the others. So what we're going to take a look at is how to edit our transition property so we can limit it down to only the resolution values we want to include. So let's first take a look at the workflows that we'll be working with in this example so we can see what our plan is. So I only have two workflows here to keep things simple, a Batmobile workflow, which is clearly being used in the Batmobile project. So in that workflow, when we resolve it, we'll want to be including the resolutions fixed, won't fix, broken beyond repair, and replaced. So those last two being custom resolutions. And in our standard Jira workflow that's being used in all other projects, we'll want to exclude the Batmobile specific resolutions, which are those two custom resolutions. So before we can make those changes in those workflows, we first have to know what the resolution IDs are of the resolutions that we want to reference. And we can either find those in our database or we can find them here in Jira on the edit screen for a resolution. So if I click on the edit operation for the fixed resolution, we can see in the URL that that resolution has an ID of one. And if I go back and mouse over those links here in Firefox, I've got the link being displayed in the bottom left hand corner of the screen so I can see that won't fix has an ID of two, duplicate has an ID of three, incomplete is four, and cannot reproduce is five. And then my two custom resolutions, so broken beyond repair has an ID of 10,000 and replaced has an ID of 10,001. So with that information, I'll go back to my Batmobile workflow and hit edit. And I want to go into the transition where I'll be setting the resolution field value. So in this case, it's my close transition. That's the only place that I'll be setting the resolution field value. And I'll go into that transition's transition properties. So we want to add in the property key jira.field dot resolution dot include in this case. So we want to say which transition IDs do we want to include as comma separated values with no spaces. So one, which is fixed, two for won't fix, 10,000 for broken beyond repair and 10,001 for replaced and hit add. 
We'll save that workflow and publish it as a draft. And that should put the workflow into effect. So now let's jump back into one of my Batmobile issues. Here the Bat battery has died. And we'll go ahead and replace that. So we'll close this issue. And we'll see that now for my resolution field values, I don't have the ones I don't want. I don't have duplicate, I don't have incomplete, and I don't have cannot reproduce, things that don't make sense here. So I'll just choose replaced and close out this issue. Now we'll jump back and try to take care of the other workflow. So that's the standard JIRA workflow. And this time we're going to use the resolution exclude transition property. So I'll edit this workflow and we'll go into diagram mode. And unfortunately in this workflow, we have many transitions that are moving to closed or resolved states. So we'll need to take care of all of those transitions. So the first one will be the resolve issue transitions here. So we'll go into its transition properties. And this time we'll be adding one called jira.field.resolution. So the same beginning. And this time we'll say exclude. And again, comma separated values for the resolutions we want to exclude, which are our two custom resolutions, which had IDs of 10,000 and 10,001. And I'll just copy that key. So there's our first set of transitions. Next, we've got a few closed transitions. So this one first. Same key, same values. And we should have one more closed transition, which goes from resolved to closed. And so we'll have to add the transition property there as well. 10,000 and 10,001 and add it in. And we'll publish this workflow now that we've made our changes. And now we should be able to find the issue I was looking at earlier, demo 12. And when we go to resolve this issue, we'll see we do not have the two custom resolutions and it should be the same when we use the close issue transition. And you'll see those two custom resolution field values are hidden there. So you can see that with two workflows, it's relatively easy to assign those workflows to use different sets of resolutions. I do want to caution you, however, that this feature doesn't scale very well. So if, for instance, you had 60 workflows in your JIRA instance that were all using either the resolution include or exclude property, and you added a new resolution value to that instance, it wouldn't be included in any workflows that were using resolution include, and it wouldn't be excluded from any workflows that are using resolution exclude. So you could potentially have many workflow changes to perform for what should otherwise be a small configuration change. But with that said, it does work well for the occasional oddball workflow where you want to change the resolution set. So as Mikey Shot on behalf of Service Rocket, I'd like to say thanks for joining us and tune in next blog, same Service Rocket time, same Service Rocket channel.